Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present all 80 teams of the 6th Annual
welcome any uh, any Mexican players from the Mexican team here. Yes, 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 yes,
All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Alex Benepeet. I am the IPA Commissioner, and I've, I've had the supreme pleasure and luck of being with this sport since the beginning in 2005 when my friend Xander Van Schell first suggested that we play Quidditch at Middlebury College in Vermont, and I told him that it was the dumbest idea I'd ever heard. <laughs> Little did I know how wrong I would be from the first game. I was totally hooked with this sport. This sport should be illegal, it's so addicting. <laughs> you look at these teams who have come from all over the country, who have trained year-round, who have dealt with all kinds of injuries, who have raised all kinds of money, and who look just friggin' sexy in these uniforms. When I, when I look at this, I feel bad for other sports. I think one day all the other sports, with, with their all-male and all-female teams and their, their one lonely ball, are gonna wake up and see this sport that is about to take over the world with men and women playing together, with lots of balls, with, with switches, we have a human ball. And, and As I've traveled the country and beyond this year, seen quits everywhere, I've asked a lot of people a question. What is a sport? And more importantly, what is a real sport? Because I hear that term bantered around quite a bit. And I've never gotten one solid answer from everyone. Everyone seems to have a slightly different definition of a sport, which has made me realize that a sport, much like religion or art, is defined by however many people say it's a sport. So what I'm challenging you here to do today is, you know, you've come here to practice your love of Quidditch, but when you leave the World Cup, I want you to charge up your batteries and go out there and preach the love of Quidditch. Because... Now, now, I have a question for you guys. This is a personal question. And, and my, my friend Alex Perry raised this question once when I was uh, sitting with him and Katie's back and discussing uh, th this phenomenon. He asked, have you ever denied Quidditch? <laughs> and I, I want you to raise your hands. I, I'm guilty of it too. Have you ever been in a circumstance where you had a, an opportunity to, to tell someone about what Quidditch was and you, you didn't do it? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it was... Uh, like that early guy at your office who you knew would just crap all over you about it. Maybe you're in a rush and didn't feel like explaining footage, which takes like 20 minutes to explain. <laughs> and you've already done it five million times. Um, but I, I want to tell you, the only way footage is going to become a sport is if the people who are close to you, the people in your lives, the people who love you and respect you, understand that it's a sport. So I want you to take a vow right now to never deny Quidditch again, to always preach love of the sport, no matter who you meet, no matter whether it's raining, the snitches, they've got it here. I'm done to me. To always preach love of Quidditch, to always share it, to never be shy about it. Because if your family and your friends and the people in your life, if they can't support it, then who can? This sport will thrive when everybody gets behind it, and it, it flows organically. It, it's a grassroots sport. People will fall in love with it everywhere they go, and if you need to leverage the people around you to love Quidditch. And they will, because if they love you and respect you, then they'll respect Quidditch. And if they don't respect Quidditch, you should probably reassess your relationship with them. <laughs> so, uh, uh, just one time, you can get off your knees now if you want to. Uh, one, uh, one final word, just please remember this one piece of advice today while you're at the tournament. Um, I, I hope it's something you, your parents taught you if you were lucky enough to have parents. Um, that you... Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I just want to say this. Treat others as you would like to be treated. That goes for your opponents. That goes for your own teammates. That goes for referees. That goes for staff. It's a very basic lesson. Just remember it when you're on the field. If you don't want the other team to make dirty hits on you, don't make dirty hits on them. All right? So I hope you all have a very safe tournament. I hope you all have a great day today and tomorrow. May the best team win, and have a fantastic World Cup. <laughs> and I'd like to introduce a very special person here from Experience Assembly who has given us an untold amount of support. We really couldn't have done this tournament at all with Experience Assembly. They have been wonderful. They've been supportive. They've been one of our best partners of all time. Please get up for Shelly